Leviticus 3, we learn about the peace offering. Now, the peace offering in this chapter was not an offering to make peace with God. This was the purpose of the sin offering. That's in Leviticus chapter 4. But an offering to enjoy peace with God. In verses 1 through 5, we learn about the offering of cattle for a peace offering. In verses 6 through 16, we learn about offering sheep or goats. And in verse 17, we learn that the blood and the fat were not to be eaten and that this law was to carry on from one generation to every generation thereafter. Now, the primary themes of Leviticus are holiness and atonement, that reparation or that payment, the satisfaction that is needed due to the debt of sin. Remember, the book of Leviticus is a powerful book of study for us today and that much of the practices of worship picture, in many ways, the person and the finished work of Jesus. Remember, Hebrews 10 tells us that the law is only a shadow of the good things that are coming, meaning all that we see in the book of Leviticus is a representation of the ultimate sacrifice, Jesus, whose sacrifice would be once for all time for those who would believe in him. Remember 2 Corinthians 5, that God made Christ who never sinned to be the offering for our sin so that we could be made right with God through Christ. You see, today we're considering the peace offering in Leviticus chapter 3 that had to be made so that the people could enjoy peace with God. I mean, the whole reason Jesus made peace between the Father and the believers, us, is so that we could enjoy the peace that God brings. Romans chapter 5 verse 1 tells us that Jesus has made peace possible for us. Therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what our Lord Jesus has done for us. Galatians 5.22 tells us that the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And there is no law against these things. You see, Jesus made peace between the Father and us so that peace can be enjoyed. So today, enjoy your relationship with God. Enjoy the peace that is available to you and to me in Jesus' name.